Hello, I have a nice demo of a new feature in OpenSwitcher. It is now possible to control video hubs directly from the Switcher application. To demo this feature, I'm using two A2 Minis. The Mini Pro is used for recording this and the A2 Mini is my standard video hub. I've connected this with an HDMI cable from the output of the Mini to one of the inputs of the Mini Pro. And I have connected my cameras to the three first three inputs of the Mini. And the PC is on input one of the Mini Pro. I also created a loopback on the Mini Pro so I can show the multi-view uh, for some extra features. So let's open the Switcher app. I have this set up to just do normal control of the Mini Pro only. And I have not connected it yet to the Atom Mini. To connect to it, I have to go to Preferences. And in the hardware list, you will see that my two Atom are the network and the Mini is on dot seventeen. I go to the hardware settings, routing, and here I have the option to add a video hub. And here I can add the IP address of my video hub, which in this case is the Mini, and connect. And it will show me the three outputs of the Mini. And only the program is an actual output. And I can select that that is hooked up to input 4. And I want to rename it on changing the source. So now it's hooked up to the other mini. And I hope it's visible in video. The button for source 4 now is a stack of buttons. And if I right click, I get the option to select a source. This allows me to really quickly route uh, input of the video hub to one of the buttons of my main switcher. And it's possible to have multiple of these buttons set up if you have multiple outputs of your video hub routed to your ATEM device. Because I enabled a rename, every time I change the input routing here, the label in the multi-view will update to the name of the camera that's on that specific input and the name of the button also changes. It's possible to just not check that and have that button labeled as one of the video hub inputs. Another feature that I've added here is if I go back to the router settings, I can select the program output, which will be the USB of the AT Mini. I can select show as bus instead of selecting an input that it's connected to. And I will go back. Now I have, if I make the window slightly larger, an extra bus here that controls the routing for that specific output. And if I now use this bar to control one of the outputs that will just only change the video I'm routing out of the USB port of that ATEM Mini. Or if you're actually using a video hub for this, you can have another output that might be hooked up to your projector source anything and you'll be able to easily change the routing from here. So that concludes the demo of the new features. I hope this feature is useful for anyone. I might add a router tab to the main view of the open switcher application in the feature so it integrates all the features from the original software for the video hub. So you never have to switch between the software for that. But I'm not entirely sure how that would be designed yet. Thanks for watching.